I'm now speaking with Captain Jose uh, Lorenzo Castillo. Yes, it is. Thank you, Captain. Can you? Hi, can... hi, everyone. So, let me introduce myself. As you say, I'm Captain Lorenzo El Castillo. I'm from Spain. I work actually for the company Alvastar, chartered company in Europe. And uh, I've been flying the 737 for 4,500 hours more or less now. And I've been honored of being here in this project as the captain, as the pilot, to conduct the, the ground test and as well the flight test. So, welcome aboard. So, tell us what are the instruments that you manage the okay. system by? Basically, what we have is exactly the same configuration in the cockpit. Plus this small fella here, which is going to be the control of the system. Okay, and it's going to be located here. So actually, what we have here is like a small control where you can choose the power on, and then the reverse button, and a small, let's say, throttle <laughs> where you can adjust the the power, the speed of the of the mechanism. Simple, very simple, and it works really well. And here, as well, we have, this is just like a prototype. Uh, this is the with that vision, where we have a 360 trace uh, view around the plane. Actually, now we are seeing the, 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 the front landing gear, where uh, we can take the reference to follow the DAP system, or as you have seen, a twist or twiddle, you know. Uh, it works pretty well, and this is going to be installed in the electronic flat bags. You know, pretty much all the companies know it is gas. Uh, so it's going to be really, let's say, ergonomic, you know. You will have here all the cameras and the views, the controls here. Okay, so simple, very simple to operate, actually. Captain, in your professional view, what is the impact of e-taxi going to be on flight operations? Well, first of all, I will remark the maneuverability because uh, we are used to wheel back uh, or push back using a track, you know, and trust all that, let's say, maneuver in third parties. So now here with this system, uh, we, can, we can perform it ourselves, you know. Uh, later, of course, I have to say that it's a fuel saving. Yes, that is a fact. And then I'll say that, uh, the, I mean, the noise here on ramp, I mean, there is a lot of facts, you know, that, that are uh, okay, that are good, you know, here in this, this system. But uh, yeah, I will remind them on availability and the fuel saving, I'll say that. Right. You know, yeah. What is your sense of how much time, because wheel tug makes a big big case for time savings what is your sense of time savings that you would have with the pushback and uh, let's say coming into the gate uh, we work in aviation like you know like like us we are used to also to be waiting for some uh, the track the pushback track or you know the clearance or something you know suddenly you have a fella on the right or the left who has already the pushback track, and you have to wait, you know, because there's no one track for every plane. So with this system, yet you have the chance to not having delays in that aspect, for example, you know. Uh, and then, you, you know, when we push back the plane, we have to spend at least, I don't know, three, four, five minutes, you know, by starting the second engine, or, you know, in this case, it's the 737, the second engine or, you know, you have to disconnect the, the tow bar, the track, you know, let all the the, the, the area clear, right. you know. So, it saves time, also in that aspect. It sounds like you, were say, you would say that between three and five minutes per, per flight. I'll say even a bit more, I'll say more, yeah. Three, five, six, seven minutes per flight, that's good. So that'll yeah. add up over a day. Sorry? That will add up a lot over a day. Of course. And imagine about the uh, in a year, you know, you know, still saving as well. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. We're at the Wheel Tug event today, and I'm speaking with Mike Silvius from Total Air Group. 
Mike, can you tell uh, our audience a little bit who you are? Sure. Uh, my name, like you said, my name is Michael Silvius. I'm with Total Air Group, and I am the uh, repair station advisor and the installation advisor for Wheel Tug through Total Air Group. And so you did the installation on the test airplane that they're going to show us today? I did the theory. Um, as far as the nuts and bolts of it, I oversaw it, but yes. Okay. How long does it take to do an installation like this on an airplane? So what we've done, we've broken the installation down to two overnight visits for the airliner. And that would minimize ground time. And, and in a perfect situation, what we would do is we would roll that into, say, a, an overnight check or, or even an A check. And then do it in conjunction with that check so you, you do not lose any revenue time at the airline. And how, what are the steps involved? Because there's electrical plumbing and right. there's wiring and stuff. Right. Can you explain how that works? It's please? actually fairly easy. So we tap, um, we tap ship's power from the APU system in the ED compartment. That power is then split off with half of it going to the, uh, to the cockpit and the other half going to the nose gear. In the cockpit, there's a controller that the pilot uses to manipulate the aircraft. And then in the nose gear, as you know, in the wheels themselves are electric motors, in which that's where they get their power. Can you give us an idea of, in time-wise, how long this process takes? As far as the installation goes, um, I think our goal is to get it down to around, as far as time goes, around 16 hours, around 40 man hours. Right. And to take them off again? The same. So actually, it might be a little quicker. We haven't done one yet, but um, I would assume the same, if not just a touch quicker. Right. There's no permanent modifications to the aircraft. It's all very temporary, very superficial. Um, the system itself weighs 300 pounds, so it's really negligible. That that weight is is kind of it's it's distributed from the E&E to the nose gear. Right. So um, impact on the aircraft is very minimal on a maintenance point of view. So it's, it's really easy. It's a simple installation, a simple demod as well. When you say 300 pounds, is that the weight that's on the nose wheels? No, uh, it's the weight of the, it's the plus on the aircraft as far as the weight goes. So the whole system is a 300 pound impact? Yes, that's correct. And what is that as a percentage of the airplane's total weight? Like min minuscule? It is. It really is. Yeah. So 300 pounds, you're talking uh, 45 gallons of fuel. Wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome.